Hello everyone, it's Morgan here and welcome to my garage, also known as a space that's about to become my art studio. I have a lot of emotions right now as I get ready to set all of this up because I tried this last year. I was about to have an art studio and I got to paint inside of that place one time before the pandemic started and I was not able to go back. Yeah, since then I have not been able to paint, but it's okay because I'm here today and I'm so excited. I am in the space that that was the shipping department for my online shop, Garden24. And now we now have a space, another space where that is being taken care of. So a lot of this stuff is getting moved and I'm super excited about it. Now I'm gonna be able to make art again in the garage. I went to Michael's today. I got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm not gonna be setting it up all pretty today, but I'm just gonna be doing just enough just to get started. No, it does not need to be perfect for me to just get started. And that is the mission today. And Let's get started. Now, I am not trained at all when it comes to making art. So a lot of what I've learned is just from watching videos and just experimenting so today I'm definitely just wanting to keep it simple and just get familiar with playing with brushes again because it's just been so long. So I can say that I'm a little proud of myself in terms of just being able to remember some of the basic things that I like to play with, such as I love playing with water and acrylics. So obviously there's watercolor, but I actually really enjoy playing with acrylic paint and water and just watching it flow on the page. And sometimes it is a little hard to get the paint to absorb even within the mixed media page. However, for the purpose of what I'm creating is I'm just creating textures and I'm just trying to get used to playing again and just letting happy accidents happen. And that's what I'm doing here is just seeing what happens and just getting familiar with using the brush again and letting the water and the paint just do its thing. And over and over again, it's just always so surprising just to see what happens when you play with these materials and you just allow them to find their way to the page and you just see what happens. So I'm definitely not planning anything really other than I just knew that I wanted to play with some cool colors and some warm colors and just see what happens. So I just let it happen and I'm going to be taking pictures of every single one of these and then I'm going to actually go to my iPad and create more on top of them and just kind of play with them even further. So that's what I'm doing now is I just am going through the photos that I took of the paintings and just cropping them and just identifying little moments that I liked from the brushstrokes and how I can implement that into a piece. And that's really kind of the whole process that I go through to make these. And I've just missed doing this so much. I don't like to do it inside because it gets really messy and I'm very clumsy and <laughs> I will have paint all over the house. So I'm so glad that I have a space that I can go to in a garage that I can finally, finally, finally paint again. I've just really enjoyed this. And I hope that you have enjoyed watching this. And I hope that this is inspiring for you to keep creating no matter what you're waiting for in your life. And here's to more videos like this. I really enjoy being able to share this with you all. And thank you so much for watching.